Hello friends, I'm Colonel Failure and you're joining me here in the Glade of Mystery uh, for the next episode of Satisfactory, where my factory is far from satisfactory, but it is a factory. And, uh, and today uh, I invite you to embrace and come to terms with this noise. That's right, gang. Uh, we're going to take care of some of the locals. Uh, well, when I say some of the locals, I mean some, some of this uh, some of this foliage that is uh, that is rather getting in the way. Uh, now, to start with, I'm only going to chop down that which is interfering uh, with the uh, the higher echelons of, of construction that I've got going on. The question is, will it uh, will it take care of this business? <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, really well. Excellent. Good. Right. Okay. In that case, uh, all, all business uh, will now be attended to. You there. You're a tree. Get out of my face. No? Guys, this tree doesn't want to go. Uh, but uh, we've got biofuel on the go now, which is a far more efficient way of, uh, uh, of fueling our power plant. Uh, eventually, of course, we'll move on to uh, onto something far more polluting, I'm sure. Why do these little fellas not, are not interested in... Uh, in I mean, it's a very, it's a very attractive shrubbery, but uh, uh, I didn't really set out to be a, a shrubber. Uh, anyway, let's get rid of some of this bamboo. Oh, that's lovely. Uh, good, you sit, sit right there in the back of the uh, backpack, I suppose, and uh, and we'll turn it into more fuel, uh, which will allow us to use the chainsaw yet further. Um, but yeah, I'm just trying to uh, to make sure that we're not clipping through uh, any of the uh, any of the basement up top. So that we can then get to work on actually getting. I tell you what, let's get a shot of this as well. I want to keep some of the natural stuff around. Uh, I mean, one of the reasons, well, one of the benefits of selecting this place was just how ruddy pretty it is, and therefore my defoliating all of it, or, or does one exfoliate? Uh, it's, it's rather hard to tell. Uh, but uh, whatever foliating I, I plan on doing. Uh, I don't want to get rid of all of it because it, it is quite an attractive area and I don't want to dis uh, despoil. I was I was torn there between besmirch and despoil and I came down halfway and it didn't end well. Um, but yes, uh, the, one of the reasons for selecting this area is it, is it is very attractive and therefore it would be a crime for me to uh, to just arbitrarily cut down everything. So instead I'm gonna I'm gonna purposefully cut down quite a lot of it. Which is very different indeed. There's the, there's the glow ball in all its majesty. Lovely. Uh, let's, uh, let's pack some more nuts into the old backpack there. Um, uh, and as part of the uh, as part of the research tree to get this segment done, I've actually got a couple more bits and pieces I can build for the base. Uh, nothing particularly entertaining as far as machinery is concerned. Uh, but the next one we're working on gives us belt splitters. Which will mean that we can we can really up the tempo on uh, on how much stuff is produced and how frequently. There you go. Get out of my face. Blimey, that's that was an effective piece of tree removal. Uh, great. Well, I'm I'm going to give it a spin against the poison plants as well uh, to see if we can't uh, we can't convince them to not exist anymore. Uh, they, they've they've had their time. They've made me feel ill on numerous occasions. And therefore, uh, and therefore, I'm going to get a shot on. I'm getting rid of this one. There you go. No, I would have, I would have kept you, but I changed my mind, and I felt that actually, I don't trust that. I don't care what it is; it's out of here. Um, no, it generally just looks like it's no good. So, uh, so we'll, we'll get shot of it. And uh, yeah, you too, pal. Well, that's good. We've got, we've got pretty much halfway around now. And, uh, and I've only gone through seven fuel. This is a very efficient way of cleaning up the planet. Um, and making it, uh, making it fit for human habitation. Obviously I'm here already and I'm, I'm already habitating. So, uh, so I mean, it's, it's already semi-fit for human habitation. Uh, I just hope I don't uh, chop down the nice blue people's sacred mystic tree. Uh, which contains the, I don't know, something about their ancestors or some such. Because uh, apparently they get quite uppity should you do that kind of thing. And they start riding around on the aforementioned large dragons. Uh, and I've yet to be issued with mine, so uh, so maybe I ought to go easy. There's, there's some caterium ore there, look. Nice. 
That's jolly exciting. Um, I'd also quite like to try this out on a uh, on a pig dillo. Uh, see how how it responds to being uh, uh, attacked with a chainsaw. Uh, one would one would imagine it wouldn't be best pleased, but uh, but uh, we'll we'll make that test when one of them emerges. I'm not going to go seeking them out. I'm not you know I wasn't I'm not completely foolish. I'm I'm only mostly foolish. Uh, yep, no, don't trust you. You're a triffid. Get out of my, uh, get out of my backyard. Uh, there we go. Um, yeah, okay. So, uh, so nature lovers uh, out there in the audience, I hope you're enjoying this show uh, because, of course, this is all virtual. No actual nature is being. Well, it's alien. So, uh, so you know, we don't care about such things. Uh, you know, if we can, uh, if we can strip this back. Get some, uh, get some palm oil on the goat. That'd be, that'd be absolutely grand. Uh, what are you? I don't know. Well, well, whatever you are, you're gone. No, nope. no, you looked at me funny, and therefore you're, uh, you're forfeit. There, sunshine. Good. Right. Okay. Well, what are you? Not enough space for NA. But is there enough space to, uh, to chop it to pieces? Oh, crikey! I've got quite a lot of bits on me now. That's, uh, that's good. This is going to keep me topped up on the old biofuel there for quite a while. Now then, where's where's one of the mischief makers? There's, there's one. I've got a reasonable amount of health. I fancy me chances. All right, pal. How do you feel about this? Uh, we ought to be ready to scarper. He's going to go. Yeah, you see, look, he's gone smelly. Okay, all right. Interesting. Not so much with the chainsaw there. Uh, I would have thought it would have responded in quite a negative fashion. And I don't mean the negative fashion where it spread poison gas all over the joint. Uh, the negative fashion I was kind of hoping for was a southern and uh, unrecoverable death. Uh, but, uh, but evidently stronger drugs are required for that particular task. And, uh, and I'll, uh, I'll, I'll develop those in due course. Uh, but, you know, death to all triffids. Oh, you, you people don't get a state. The bamboo's quite scenic. Uh, I just need some tiki torches and maybe some kind of uh, miniature bar area. Uh, you know, maybe I'll wear a wear a lay and uh, and have people round for an occasional luau. Uh, that would be that would be magnificent. People tend to like that kind of thing. Um, yeah, because obviously I'm going to turn the place into a tourist hotspot and uh, and charge a premium price for having done so. Uh, first things first, we've got to adjust the atmosphere through the medium of smog. Uh, is what we're going to do. Uh, uh, smog, not smog. Uh, no, not a dragon. Although you know, opportunity presents itself. I'll be all over that. Okay. Yep. yep. No triffids shall live through this experience. Because uh, I, I, I'm not. Uh, I'm not ashamed to admit that watching the day of the triffids as a uh, as a young man. Uh, gave me the willies uh, because I lived in the country see, and uh, and therefore there were plant life there were plant life yeah sure that's a that's a thing we say in the country uh, there were plant life all over the joint and uh, and therefore it seemed quite plausible that some of them could come to life and uh, and you know whap you about the face and neck until you were really quite poorly uh, at which point they'd turn up and eat you yeah triffids man yeah it's a bad scene uh, right, okay, that's pretty good for now. Hang on, Triffid. Uh, yeah, you, out of here. And be gone. Uh, also, we'll leave the, uh, the, the, the trumpets in place, because they're magnificent. I think they're a, they're a feature uh, that, uh, that we'll want to keep around for as long as possible. Although this, this joker over here looks, looks rather closer than I prefer to my, uh, to my main area of business. But let's have a... No, he's fine. Look, he's absolutely fine. Right, good. On to the next job. Right, with what I'm describing as aggressive horticulture now taken care of, uh, I can now uh, continue my way around the perimeter here and make sure that I've got all of these gaps plugged uh, because uh, previously there was, there was foliage in the way uh, of me being able to do that. And uh, and from that point on, it really becomes uh, a decision process of, you know what, I'm going to put some, uh, I'm going to put some in here, uh, of, uh, of where I'm going to start my, uh, my massive smelting operation. Uh, I've located a couple of extra sources of, uh, of various ores, 
So uh, that's the that's not the type that go with boats, obviously. Um, and therefore, it becomes a case of, well, figuring out which ones I want where uh, in terms of processing. Um, now, my intention is not to seal uh, the entire mystery glade uh, with a roof of some description, um, but uh, but there will be quite a lot of interference uh, from the ceiling with the uh, uh, with the beautiful sunlit. Uh, dappled, watery uh, trumpet area that we've got down at the bottom there. Um, uh, but uh, but it will still be open to the sunlight because obviously I want my tourists to be able to get a nice tan whenever they come and visit. Uh, what else? Oh no, hold on, we're in the danger zone. Don't want to be in the danger zone. I don't want to fly there or otherwise. Uh, no, danger zone, not for me. Uh, what would be quite nice is a couple of triangular foundations in order to uh, just, just shape this... Uh, this set up a little better, but uh, it'll make sense in the fullness of time, I'm sure. Especially once I start laying in a, a few walls here and there as well, just to uh, I don't know, balance things out to turn that off. Uh, just to balance things out a little bit. Um, so, the, the main principle that I'm going to start with is uh, is running belts around the, the perimeter. Uh, I have more space than I need right now in order to get this accomplished. Um, but I don't want to uh, to spread out the, the, the refining process too far uh, because, interesting, we've got some birds taking off. From, they're nesting in the foundations now. They were in a tree beforehand, but that, that tree has ceased to be. Um, obviously, these are quite stubborn uh, wild fowl that are, that are kicking around and, uh, and making their home however they can. Well, I, I applaud their tenacity, but, uh, but they're really not welcome. Uh, yeah, we'll keep going across here. Uh, so now you know why it was that I went for stone first, because I'm going through it at a rate of knots. Uh, I, I, I don't know exactly how much I've used so far, but we're evil, easily over a couple of thousand concrete uh, in the uh, in the placement of all these foundations, and uh, and I'm not done, not by a not by a long stretch. Uh, keep going. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, absolutely. There we go. So yes, bringing the belts in in a slightly more orderly fashion is going to be next to do, uh, and also the the the, the kind of the, the purest in me. Uh, I'm uh, I'm very tempted, nay determined, uh, to follow the belts back to source and uh, and carve out a non-clipping path uh, for them to follow. Not because it's necessary, you understand, uh, but purely because it's better that way. Uh, yes, it is. Uh, and the other thing that I need to do is potentially move the hub. Now, I'm, it's going to live where it lives for a little while. Uh, well, it's going to live where it lives permanently, I would have thought. Yes, all right. Um, but uh, it's going gonna, it's gonna to stay put. There you go. Happy now? It's going to stay put for a little bit uh, just while we get established. Uh, but then I might find a more permanent home for it. Because obviously it is also our primary source of power at the moment. Uh, I mean, even though we're we're lobbing biofuel in it like there's no tomorrow, uh, it is still the uh, the main means by which power is generated. Now, once I can uh, I can create my own uh, uh, my own burner furnaces type deal type whatever they're called, uh, then I'll change that up. Uh, but for the moment, uh, they can they can just do one. Now, this belt doesn't actually go anywhere. Well, it doesn't it doesn't go anywhere of of benefit. But I'm sure you recognise it. I'm sure you do. Yes, you should recognise it because it goes up to the original iron source that I was planning to use. That for some reason I changed my mind and went somewhere else instead. I, I can't, for the life of me, remember why it was I changed my uh, changed my opinion on where to place. But I did. So so there's that. Uh, but as you can see, it's all it's all far more organised. Now that we don't have uh, leafy croppings coming through the surface of the uh, of the foundations, it all looks much, 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 much neater. So I'm going to do a bit more research, and uh, and then we'll uh, we'll get some furnaces up. Oh, hold on, look, we've got lots of space we can use it. Oh, it's because I used that to get down one time, and I kept bumping my head, and I felt that that was not conducive with, uh, well, with not having a headache, primarily. I think we're done, you know. I think I think we're there. Yeah. Okay. Right. Good. Well, that's the entire the, the entire perimeter kind of locked in. 
Uh, I want to square off these corners a little bit. All right, see, look. Did you see that? Did you see it? Did you? Look, if I back up this way, you'll see it starts getting a bit hazy and potentially dangerous. Well, I say potentially dangerous. Actually dangerous. Um, yeah. Oh, tell you what might work well. Some form of diving board. Uh, do we reckon we can make it over to that bit? Part of me is really tempted to find out. And because I know that bit's deep enough... Right, let's give it a go. I'm in the mood. Let's try it. Here we go. Hey, oh, this feels good. It feels good. Is it deep enough? No. No, it's not deep enough. Oh, shucks. That's okay. It's, it wasn't that far. Um, and, uh, you know, it's down the bottom already. Save, save me the task of clambering down a flipping conveyor belt. Anyway, uh, right, where's my kit? Uh, it's over here. Yeah, too shallow. Too shallow by a long way. Now, the, the bigger question is, can I, yeah, I can reach my kit. Uh, now then, uh, several of you pointed out while I was trying to retrieve kit earlier on in the, uh, in the series there, uh, that I missed the grab all button every single time. Well, oddly enough, I, I was immediately drawn towards the stuff that I wanted most. But I now use the grab all button because I'm a seasoned professional. Um, very seasoned. And uh, definitely professional. And good. Right, there you go. That's going to wrap it up for today. Um, I, I leave you with a comedy death because why wouldn't you? Uh, in the next episode, well, we, well, I, I shall probably have, uh, have belts kind of, uh, ready to rock and roll, uh, to get us moving on to the next stage, which is, uh, which is taking these smelters up to the top deck, and, uh, and I'll also probably, although it depends on how much stone I've managed to generate by that point, um, I'll also probably start to look at getting layer two established. You can see layer two over there, right? Uh, now that is exactly... Uh, three wall heights below uh, the top deck and uh, and for those of you unaware that's the height you need if you're going to put constructors underneath a set of flooring uh, anyone would have thought that I'd, I'd, I'd oh look what I found um, anyone would have thought I'd planned that out and you'd be right because I did oh, what do you actually need here you need a battery oh, well never mind oh you need 50 megawatts 50 megawatts my entire grid only uses 20. Well, yeah, does it? Am I mistaken? No, 40. We're, we, we're consuming 20, but we've got a capacity of 40. And I'm like, oh, gracious me. I don't know what kind of drop pot that is. I did better have something flipping brilliant inside. That's all I'm going to say. Uh, anyway, there you go. Uh, that's, uh, that's it for today. I've been Colonel Failure, and you've been delightful. Uh, I invite you to come to Club Tropicana, where the drinks are expensive. Uh, it's not the Club Tropicana you may be familiar with. And uh, and stop by for another adventure next time. Subscribe to ensure that you're available for adventure when I call you. Catch up with you soon. Cheerio. Now then, when I was young, I used to have a thing for chainsaws. I, I don't mean a, a thing Whoa, for chainsaws. No, I, I had a bit of an obsession for chainsaws. I think it was possibly due to some very scary movies that, well, well not necessarily scary, but uh, somewhat sick movies that existed at the time. And, of course, the, uh, the comic book character Chainsaw Vigilante, who was my personal hero. Uh, you won't have heard of the Chainsaw Vigilante unless you read a very specific set of comic books. I don't know if the TV series adaptation has actually picked up on them or not. But regardless, Chainsaw Vigilante, he was my guy. Um, anyway, I've now cleared all of the trees and foliage uh, from the surrounding area, which means that progress can continue apace uh, without the, uh, the interference of, of Mama Nature and all her green leafy cohorts.